millions of Instagram accounts has been hacked anonymously. Some accounts are hacked and deleted permanently and we can't reach to those accounts forever and some accounts are hacked to misuse the identity of the user. Sounds scary. If you don't want your account to be stolen, if you really want your account to be safe, then this video is made for you. And along with that, as always, there is a bonus. A bonus update I am going to say you about Instagram's privacy at the last of this video. So stay up for that. Now with that being said, hey everyone, my name is Kashif and if you guys like the type of content we are producing these days, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So now with that being said, let's get started. First step is basic but very important. Sometimes in case of emergency, you supposed to log in your Instagram in your friend's phone. You trusted that person but who knows who might turn into your account stoller. So whenever you log in in any other devices or in any someone else devices, change the password by coming back to your phone as soon as possible immediately. Now you might have wondering how is that possible to steal accounts so easily. There is a keyboard app called Hackers Keylogger which looks as same as the normal one but it stores the typing data which you had typed previously. So if your friend installs this type of keyboard and let you log in into your account then by this way your account is hacked. So what matters if he uses Hackers Keylogger or not, you change your password every time you log in in someone else's phone. Okay, so this is the important part of this video. This method is called two-factor authentication and if you set up two-factor authentication on your Instagram, then there are 0% of chances to your Instagram to get hacked. So first I will show you how to turn on or set up this two-factor authentication and then I will explain how it functions. But before going to that, if you got any queries or doubts regarding this video, you can just comment down below or text me on Instagram and I will surely clear all of your queries and doubts related to this video on my Instagram. So my Instagram handle is in your description or in your on your phone screen. So you can go there and follow me and get cleared all of your doubts. Okay now let's see how to turn on or set up two factor authentication. So first from your Instagram, you have to go to the settings by tapping or swiping from here. Then after going to settings, in settings page you can see security tab. Then tap on the security option, then you can see two-factor authentication in your screen. Tap on the two-factor authentication and some stuff related that is shown in the screen. But you have to ignore as you ignore your boyfriend and but you have to click get started below. And now after getting started you can see turn on text message option you have to turn on that text message option so while you are turning on this you will receive an OTP or one time password in your registered mobile number so simply type the one time password in this boxes after typing OTP here you click next and it will take some time and after that yeah the two-factor authentication is on Okay, so now I will explain what two-factor authentication actually is and how does it helps to your account's privacy. So now if you activated two-factor authentication for your Instagram and didn't watch this rest of this video, then the chances are there that you will lose access to your account. So for just one to two minutes, listen this video carefully and try to understand what I'm saying. So I will be explaining you with an example. So if you set up the, this two-factor authentication if you set up two-factor authentication in your vivo mobile phone so whenever you log in into your mo vivo mobile phone your instagram doesn't ask otp but when you log in in some any other devices such as in your laptop then instagram does ask an otp so the instagram recognize which is your own phone which is your trusted phone so whenever you log in in your trusted phone then instagram doesn't ask otp but 
when someone else tries to access your account with the password in any other phone the instagram will not recognize that phone and ask an otp that otp will be receiving in only in your mobile number so he or she can't access to your account now so now your account is very much safe but what if you lose your registered mobile number or if there is any network issues or you can't just get otp in your registered mobile number well then for that instagram has provided you a set of recovery codes which you can use instead of the otp instead of adding otp you can just add any of this recovery code and you can save this recovery codes in your backup mobile or in any your trusted devices as your mobile uh, parents device so uh, memorize any one or two recovery codes so you may not be losing your account in future and i hope you have got a clear idea what two factor authentication is but if you still have doubts and queries then you can actually reach to my instagram and message me ask me anything from me and i will surely try to explain you in that way the instagram link is given in the description or you can comment down below by any queries or questions regarding this video okay as i promised this is the bonus tip for instagram security uh, this will be more over useful for female users but in some cases also for males uh, so let's see what actually it is so it is called restricted accounts and you can find this option under the privacy section of settings page so the main function of this feature which i liked very much is that the restricted accounts comments are not going to show to anyone else other than you so being a girl or women you may have experienced a lot of time getting bad or abusive comments in your photos so if you restrict those users their comments are not going to show to anyone else and also instagram won't say that you have restricted the account you don't have to block them you don't have to lose a follower and still you you are not going you are not going to show their comments to anyone else and also the user can't view when you are online and also when you view their messages cool feature right okay so basically this is much for today's video guys and if you got something useful from this video then make sure you turn the gray like button to blue and also make sure you share this video to your instagram friends to help them save their account and lastly subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more such cool videos so now this is your boy kashif signing right off from this video until the next time you guys have a great day peace out